I am feeling a little bit like frightened. Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> but if I wanted to, I could, yeah. Remembering that she doesn't want bling and she doesn't want lice. The dress itself is stunning, but the cape just for me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Such Look a pleasure to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, Lisa. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, and you Jill. are her, her mom. Her mom. Yeah, that's... Erica, nice her to meet you, Erica. So surreal. It was like, okay, wow. <laughs> we need to be serious now. This is actually happening. Number three, Crusader with a cape. Robin Zanettis is a determined bride with a clear vision of the dress she wants to wear down the aisle. She has come to Kleinfeld to seek the help of the expert stylists Lisa and Randy Finoli to find her perfect gown. Robin is not one to settle for the ordinary and she has a unique fashion sense that is sure to make her wedding party stand out. She has already arrived at the salon wearing a contemporary piece that is a testament to her avant-garde style. This bride is not shy about expressing her fashion-forward ideas, and she wants a dress that is both structured and cutting-edge. She is in search of a state-of-the-art batwing design that will perfectly complement her ultra-modern look. Robin's high hopes are in good hands, and she is ready to embark on a journey with the expert team to find her yes dress. I've never tried on a wedding dress before. This is my first time. My mother actually bought her dress at Kleinfeld. Women in the Zanitas family, we buy our dresses at Kleinfeld. Nobody, really wants, to want to get me I, nobody wants to see that. Hi, whoa. Such Look a pleasure beautiful. to meet you. Lisa. So nice to meet you, Lisa. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your wedding and your fiance. And what and you're looking for. We're getting married. Uh, oh, on the where? Beach, uh, in her mother is her inspiration, and Robin hopes to follow in her footsteps by finding the dress of her dreams at Kleinfeld. With Lisa and Randy by her side, she is confident that she will find a gown that is both stunning and unique. Robin's no-nonsense attitude and unwavering determination are sure to make this a memorable and exciting experience for everyone involved. Robin Zanettis is not your average bride. She's a breath of fresh air with an unapologetic style sense that she wants to reflect on her wedding day. She's looking for something that screams simplicity but with a modern twist that will leave everyone in awe. Her fashion-forward approach to life has brought her to Kleinfeld to seek out the dress of her dreams, accompanied by the dynamic duo of Lisa and Randy Finoli. She has already given them a glimpse of her unique style with a contemporary piece that showcases her edgy taste. What she desires is a structural masterpiece that is ahead of its time, something that will complement her unconventional style. She's looking for a gown that boasts a batwing design, a statement piece that reflects her modern flair. With Robin's unconventional approach, Randy is excited to work with her and bring her vision to life that I want, something super sculptural, avant-garde. Like, what does that mean to you? Sure, that means wings, that means... I, I, I remember once I did a fairy bride, but she brought wings. road wings. No, 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 no. So I want you to supply wings, the wings. What do you mean wings? I want, um, maybe not fit through a door. Maybe I have to go through the door sideways. <laughs> Sculptural avant-garde, what I'm looking for. You were in the industry? Uh, I was a buyer for uh, ladies' shoes. My dad takes a deep interest in my style, and I think he very much appreciates how different and kind of like off-kilter I've gone. Robin Zanettis has brought her unique and fashion-forward sense of style to Kleinfeld in search of her dream dress. She is accompanied by the experienced and talented duo Lisa and Randy Finoli, who are committed to helping her find the perfect dress to match her unconventional personality. Robin is a bride with a clear vision, looking for a structured and modern design with dramatic flair. Randy's three dress picks have all received a warm reception from Robin. Dress number one by Ruvini is a contemporary take on a traditional princess gown with a stunning ruffled train, but it doesn't meet Robin's needs for comfort and mobility. Number two, unconventional or innovative. Despite being 43 years old, Melanie Parker possesses a timeless spirit and a unique fashion sense that leans towards the unconventional rather than the customary. To find the perfect dress for her big day, she has enlisted the help of David Emmanuel and Zoe, who are tasked with guiding her towards her ultimate choice. However, Melanie has brought along a sizable group of friends and family to join her on his journey, much to David's concern as he has reservations about large entourages. 
Despite this, the team is determined to make Melanie's dreams a reality. Melanie tries on a lace and beaded Ellis bridal gown, which fits her like a glove and accentuates her backside. However, the rest of the bridal party remains unimpressed and the dress fails to meet their high expectations. The second dress on Melanie, created by Pronovias, has left the bridal party in awe with its stunning beauty, but unfortunately, the cape feature isn't quite resonating with them. It's more of a source of amusement than admiration for its unique and bold choice. Dress number one by Ruvini is a contemporary take on a traditional princess gown with a stunning ruffled train, but it doesn't meet Robin's needs for comfort and mobility. And Kleinfeld has successfully delivered on their promise to find her the perfect dress. If she doesn't, I don't know that I have anything else that's like really out there. That went great. I mean, but we know this isn't the dress. It's not a hanger dress. What I mean by that is that when you look at it on the hanger, you don't really get the effect. Lauren has uh, extraordinary taste, things that are very unusual, things that leave me. If something's not working for her, she will say no. <laughs> It's important that I get a dress at Kleinfeld because I really do what I would love. It's such an incredible location and a beautiful bridal shop. So would love to start that tradition. Do you think you can dance in this? Now it'll yeah. be hemmed. Sure. And then you're... Number two, unconventional or innovative. Despite being 43 years old, Melanie Parker possesses a timeless spirit and a unique fashion sense that leads towards the unconventional rather than the customary. To find the perfect dress for her big day, she has enlisted the help of David Emanuel and Zoe, who are tasked with guiding her towards her ultimate choice. However, Melanie has brought along a sizable group of friends and family to join her on this journey, much to David's concern as he has reservations about large entourages. Despite this, the team is determined to make Melanie's dreams a reality. Now I want something that's got more. Today I've brought with me three good friends, Chris, Mark, and me today, and I think it will just give me a few. Mel. That'd be nice when I was 18. It's <laughs> a bit too busty there. Looking yeah. desolate coat. Yeah. Yeah, a duffel cut sounds nice, Chris. <laughs> Scarf and a hat as well. Mel is... Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be different. <laughs> yes. Quite a large... I just wanted all different opinions and they're all... Yeah. Big entourages come with a warning. Definitely, yeah. I definitely like this. <laughs> Melanie tries on a lace and beaded Ellis Bridal's gown, which fits her like a glove and accentuates her backside. However, the rest of the bridal party remains unimpressed, and the dress fails to meet their high standards. The second dress on Melanie created by Pronovias has left the bridal party in awe with its stunning beauty, but unfortunately, the cape feature isn't quite resonating with them. It's more of a source of amusement than admiration for this unique and bold choice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you scrub up all right. Oh my goodness me. Nick no, because I'm sticking it out. <laughs> what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Um, right, I'm going to start with the girls first. I must admit, I don't like the cape. Okay. No. I still feel a bit too bare here. Yeah. Okay. For me. Dress number three by Justin Alexander is a stunning creation that beautifully accentuates the figure. Crafted from a delicate combination of lace, satin, and embroidered pieces, placed strategically on fine netting to create a gossamer effect. The entire wedding party is in awe of its beauty and speechless with wonder. It's apparent that this dress has the potential to make Melanie's wedding day truly spectacular. Her companions are convinced that this is the dress that Melanie must take home with her. This dress is a little bit classy and I'm very me. better like it now. <laughs> I didn't think that I would feel like this over a dress. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I just want my kids to see me. Nah. <laughs> Four out of five isn't bad. <laughs> this in budget for Mel. Yeah. Money over for diamonds. Yeah. Only one question I've got to ask you. Are you going to say yes? Number one, curvaceous superhero. Chanel is someone who never thought about getting married, and the prospect of walking down the aisle is something that she has always shied away from. However, despite her reluctance, her fiancé is committed to the idea of tying the knot with her and has planned everything to the last detail. The only thing that is left for Chanel to do is to choose her wedding dress, which is an aspect of the wedding that she has never given much thought to. This can be both a blessing and a curse for her stylists, L and J. 
On one hand, they have a blank state to work with, which gives them the freedom to create something truly unique and special for her. In. Hey, hello. Hello. In the best. So three generations on a mission to find a wedding. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> at, at all. Oh. We get married in a listed grade two church. It's kind of ballroom-esque oh. type feel to it. Chandeliers. Seems all very organised and everything's in play. Well, is it him? It is. <gasps> it is. He's a keeper. On the other hand, the lack of any preconceived notions can also make the task of finding the perfect dress more challenging. To make things even more complicated, Chanel is someone who struggles with self-consciousness and has always felt uncomfortable in situations where she is the center of attention. This, combined with the unexpected of the wedding and the pressure of finding the perfect dress, is making the whole experience even more overwhelming for her. Elle and Jay know that they have their work cut out for them, and they are determined to help Chanel navigate through this labyrinth of emotions. Their first step is to get to know Chanel and understand her unique style and personality. This involves asking her questions about her preferences, her favorite colors, and her personal style. They also take into consideration the location and theme of the wedding, as well as any cultural or religious traditions that need to be adhered to. It does look really nice, which I didn't think I would say, but I'm not like, I love so surreal. It was like, okay, wow. <laughs> we need to be serious now. This is actually happening. We're open them. Yeah, you can I'm open. Nice. That I know it's it's really simple because I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Armed with this information, they begin the process of selecting dresses that they feel will suit her personality and the occasion. Throughout the process, Elle and Jay are patient and supportive, holding Chanel's hand every step of the way. They understand that choosing a wedding dress is a big decision and that one can be fraught with anxiety and stress. However, with their expert guidance and understanding, they are able to help Chanel find the perfect dress that not only looks beautiful, but also makes her feel comfortable and confident on her big day. The first dress, though, not the clear winner in our bride's mind, has given her a newfound confidence in her ability to look stunning. As she returns to the changing room, she feels empowered by this realization. Dress number two is a lovely princess cut dress with a... Dress number is a lovely princess cut dress with a full skirt, but its simplicity is deceiving. The only adornment is a beautiful sash at the waist, which highlights the bride's best features and flatters her self-conscious nature. While it certainly grabs attention, the bride is concerned that it may not be grand enough to compete with the magnificence of the ceremony's venue. Symbolizing the queenly presence that Chanel now exudes, having reclaimed her rightful place as the partner to the king of her heart. This dress is the perfect representation of Chanel's journey towards self-discovery and empowerment. I really, really like it. Wow. <laughs> is the something that I wanted and that was missing from every other drag. The big things are sorted and I can sleep easily now till 2021. <laughs> Oh, lady. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.